you enjoy football on a budget. With prices climbing and wages not, I'm sure a lot of you are in a similar position to me and either don't have a lot of money or are needing to save for other things, houses, cars, etc. But have a desperate need for a little football fix. So I'm going to find out today whether or not I and you would be able to go to football even if you have a limited amount of money. So I have 20 pounds. This I will not be needing today. See you in a bit. And this is all I'll have. I will not have a backup. This is it. So my challenge is, I need to pay for entry into the ground. I need to get a program. I need to get a 50-50 raffle ticket. I need to get some food and I need to get a drink or maybe two. So the point of this is to see whether you can still have a good day out with 20 pounds. Yes, you can limit yourself and eat or have some water at home. But no, we're gonna have a good day out with only 20 pounds. I'm here just parked there at the extra preliminary round of the FA Cup. The season begins now and it's Buckland Athletic, a good tour point. So we'll see how they get on. I'll see you inside, remember, only 20 quid. Buckland are 1-0 up already and I completely missed that card right down the other side of the pitch. But oh well, one nil up. There we go, half time, Buckland 2, tall point nil. Um, I obviously missed the first goal, it's very windy, but off to go and get a coffee. Fantastic so far, Buckland so far, going through to the next round of the FA Cup, if they can hold on.
So there we have it. Buckland 5, Tour Point 1. Buckland into the next round of the FA Cup, which is fantastic. And I will be here because it is going to be a home game against either Britsom or Oakhampton. Now, Britsom were winning 2 0 at half time, and last time I saw it was 2 0. So I'd say it's gone to um, a second leg. So I think it will we'll have to wait and see who we're against, whether it be Britsom or Oakhampton. But had a fantastic time here. What a win for Buckland. Fantastic, some fantastic goals. And definitely do not miss that one. That definitely deserves a sub, if you can. 10 away from the 600. We're getting there. We're smashing it. Let's go. So how much did I finish with in the end? I mean, I paid eight quid for entry. It was £1.50 for a programme, it was £1 for a 50-50 raffle, it was £1.30 for the can of Coke and £3.50 for the pucker pie. So, put the maths together and I ended up with £4.70 left in change, so I've got to spend £15.30. Yeah, £15.30. Uh, and that's not too bad, to be perfectly honest. I would have taken off a coffee as well. So let's say I've spent £16.30, but I got given that one for free. Thank you, Nigel Haynes. Um, so, yeah, I would have been left with £3.70 of change. So I think that was definitely very, very cheap and well worth the day out. So remember, if you don't have a lot of money, and yeah, you may support a bigger club, but remember, you'll most likely be spending 30-odd quid on the ticket alone. Then you've got the travel. Then you've got food in the stadium, which then are really, really expensive. Where here, it's nice and cheap. So if you want that cheap day out, you can just go and have a fantastic day. See a good game of football, like I saw. I mean, obviously not confirmed every single game. You'll see lots of goals, but... I saw six goals today, and that is brilliant. Apart from missing the first one, but I did see it with my eye, just not yourselves. And yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. Go down to see your local club. Non league football is fantastic, and if you haven't seen it, you're missing out. I'll see you very soon for another video. Remember, like and subscribe. Let's get me to 600 subs. See you in a bit.